What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV, back at y'all with another one. So, we know now the post that undefeated three division world champion who simultaneously held the WBA super title at 130, the WBA regular title 135 and 140, superstar boxer Javante Tank Davis, 27 wins, no loss and no draw, 25 big wins by way of knockout. He is 27 years of age, five foot five, with a 67 inch arm inch. With that said, we know Javante Tank Davis, he's at odds. He's at odds with longtime promoter, retired, legendary, iconic, Hall of Fame superstar boxer, five division world champion, former pound for pound king and pay-per-view king, the man known as Money, Floyd Money Mayweather Jr., who retired 50 and 0, and is the founder of Mayweather Promotions. And he signed Javante Tang Davis. He built up Javante Tang Davis to the superstar that Javante Tang Davis is today, okay? We don't know where Javante Tang Davis would be at in his career if he didn't have the likes of Floyd Mayweather co-signing his career and co-signing him as a fighter. Floyd Mayweather took Javante Tang Davis and put him on the second biggest fight in the history of the sport of boxing when Floyd Mayweather himself took on UFC legendary future Hall of Fame superstar boss, uh, athlete in Conor McGregor, okay? And Javante Tang Davis, he was the co-main event on that card. He was supposed to defend his titles, but he missed weight and lost his belt on the scale. With that said, when Floyd Mayweather co-signs you as a fighter and he directly backs you as a fighter, whether he fights you or puts you on his cards, he makes you a superstar. And he has made Javante Tank Davis, no doubt, a superstar. But that don't mean that he's always right, okay? And Javante Tank Davis clearly isn't happy with his situation and how he's being treated at Mayweather Promotions, right? It seems like Javante Tank Davis has a good relationship with Mayweather Promotions CEO, Leonard Ellaby. We know he has a good relationship with the PBC, Premier Boston Champion, Founder and Advisor, Al Heyman. And he also seems to have a good relationship with Showtime, Showtime President of Sports, Steven Espinosa, who stated that Javante Tank Davis has a exclusive right deal with Showtime and Steven Espinosa and, uh, you know, uh, to showcase his fights. So with that said, right, uh, Javante Tank Davis, he took to social media. He let to be known in the lead up to his fight with fellow stablemate, uh, lightweight title contender, star boss of Rolando Roley Romero, that took place May 28th at the Barclays Center in Brooklyn, New York, where Javante Tank Davis, he broke the record, $5 million gate at the Barclays Center for a boxing event. That's a record there at the Barclays Center, okay? Uh, so he broke the record there, right? Uh, Javante Tank Davis is clearly, clearly, you know, uh, a superstar in the sport of boxing. And it has a lot to do with Mayweather Promotions. But no doubt, leading up into that fight, Javante Tank Davis, he stated that, um, you know, uh, this was his last fight with Mayweather Promotions and he couldn't wait to part ways, okay? And he stated that, you know, um, uh, the only reason he's even fighting Roly Romero, who's a Mayweather Promotions fighter, or seemed to be a Mayweather Promotions fighter, because according to Roly and his team, he's not a Mayweather Promotions fighter. He's with the PBC. Nonetheless, you know, uh, in the buildup for the fight, he stated that's the only reason he's fighting them because they know it's his last fight with them and he's leaving to start GTD Promotions, Javante Tank Davis Promotions, and he wants to build it up. Floyd Mayweather, he did an interview in which he stated that in order for you to build up your own promotional company, you have to be able to uh, um, upfront a certain amount of money to fighters. And if you can't do that, then you're not a promoter, right? Uh, and so he said you have to have a certain amount of money upfront to be able to... Uh, um, stage fights and promote fighters, right? Uh, which we know is not completely entirely true because uh, there's fights, Devin Haney, well, Devin Haney makes the money, Javante Tank Davis makes money, and you know, uh, there's other fighters that have other promotional companies like uh, Mandown Promotions, Errol Spencer's promotional company, he signed Frank Martin. That's a huge, you know, Frank Martin is, uh, uh, you know, a, a, a star on the verge of being a superstar in the sport of boxing, okay? So you have Frank Martin, right? And then you have, um, uh, 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 you have, um, 
Devin Haney. He has uh, uh, DHP, Devin Haney Promotions, okay? Uh, what his father, trainer, manager, and CEO of DHP, Devin Haney Promotions, uh, Bill Haney. And they have fighters, Amari, uh, Mari Jones, you know, uh, um, and they work with a lot of other fighters, okay? Uh, um, and so with that said, you can have fighters and sign fighters and promote fights without, uh, um, without you know, having being a billionaire in the sport of boxing, right? You definitely can do that. And so with that said, you know, um, uh, uh, Floyd Miller said that if you don't have a certain amount of money, you can't put on fights and uh, be your own promoter. Well, that's not true. But nonetheless, he wants to focus on GTD, T, GTD promotions. Uh, so he put up, then he went up, you know, going back and forth saying that Floyd Miller is jealous of him. Well, yesterday he went, you know, uh, 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 a little bit further and he put up a, a, a Photoshop picture of Floyd Miller when he was on vacation look in Moscow or in Russia. And he had on a, a Fendi suit, Fendi boots, Fendi pants, Fendi jacket, you know how Floyd Miller does. And uh, this particular picture Photoshop Floyd Miller with uh, tidy whiteys on okay uh, uh briefs on with um no pants on right and Javante Tain davis he put that post up uh then he quickly took it down you know um but he put the post up and it's ironic because just before he did that floyd miller had put up a post and he stated that he don't have time to go back and forth arguing people and you know uh things of that nature he wants to focus on just peace you know uh and tranquility is what he stated right uh, he don't have time to be going back and forth with people and arguing with people and uh, having disagreements with people. Uh, he wants to focus on, you know, tranquility. He wants to focus on peace, you know, and things of that nature. So uh, this is what he had to say. Uh, quote, I'm at the point in my life where I need peace and tranquility and tranquility, not attitudes and arguments. Right. Uh, which is absolutely, you know, uh, true. Right. So, you know, um, because Floyd Mayweather, yes, is he right? No, he's not always right, right? He's not perfect, right? Uh, you know, um, at the same token, you know, he has built up Javante Tank Davis, no doubt, to the point that he's where he's at. He co-signed him, right? And this is the photo that uh, Javante Tank Davis had put up of uh, Floyd Mayweather. He put this photo up of Floyd Mayweather, as you can see. Uh, it's photoshopped with Floyd with no pants on, right? Uh, um, and Javante Tank Davis, he puts up this post, right? Uh, and, you know, again, like I'm going to say, Floyd Miller's not always right. But for sure, right, uh, that there's no doubt that he built up Javante Tank Davis to be the superstar he is, okay? Uh, um... And, you know, uh, uh, with that said, you know, there is a level of respect that needs to be there. Now, I don't know, you know, uh, um, what happened behind the scenes. Their relationship is clearly estranged, you know. Uh, but again, right, I don't agree with him going this far and putting up posts of Floyd Mayweather and poking at Floyd Mayweather because the lifestyle that he lives is because of Floyd Mayweather. The, the 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 life the the financial freedom that he has is because of Floyd Mayweather. Uh, the stardom that he has is because a lot part to do with Floyd Mayweather. And again, has Javante Tank Davis, you know, uh, done his part in the ring? Absolutely, absolutely, one thousand percent, one thousand percent. Javante Tank Davis done his part. Right? It takes two to tank. So they were a match made in heaven. Floyd Mayweather co-sign him, promote him and uh, give them exposure to the world that um, wouldn't normally know who Javante Tank Davis is. Uh, Javante Tank Davis backed it up in the ring. So they were a match made in heaven, you understand? Uh, again, Floyd Miller directly passed the baton to Canelo Alvarez, who was gonna on the, on the verge of stardom and superstardom and things of that nature. But Floyd Miller makes you a crossover superstar. He makes you a crossover superstar. There's a difference, okay? He gave the stardom, most people don't remember this, to Danny Garcia, two division world champion, Puerto Rican superstar boxer. Floyd Mayweather made him the co-main event to many of his fights, uh, whether it would be to build up a future fight between the two or not. He gave you the exposure. 
when when Danny Garcia fought Lucas Matisse. That was the co-main event to a Floyd Mayweather card. Okay, when when Conor McGregor fought Floyd Mayweather, the second biggest fight in the history of sport of boxing. Watch fight. It garnered over five hundred million dollars. Okay, it did four point three paper four point three million pay per views, and you got to understand. The fans start paying attention to what's going on for the event around the co-main event. Maybe the co-co-main event. The co-main event to the co-main event is when the fans really start ushering in and the people at home that are watching it on TV really start to pay attention and they start to get antsy and, you know, the party starts to, you know, it reaches at a high. But now people are ready to see the fight and people start to say, man, when is the next fight? Oh, it's after this fight. And that's the fight that they start paying attention to. That co-main event, that's why it's an important slot to be in. And then people start to look, who is this guy? Who is this guy? That may not normally know who you are. And they start to give credence and norm, and, uh, um, and uh, 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 um, acknowledgement to who you are. And then you back it up. Then Tank Davis backed it up. But 4.3 million people watched that. And then Cole Floyd Miller said, this kid got next. This is my protege and whatever else he say. And people start to focus in on him, pay attention. Oh, who's this dude Floyd Miller say got next? Let's watch this dude. So then when you're not fighting on his card, they still paying attention. So Floyd Miller definitely builds you up. And again, let me say this. He's not always right at all. But what he is, is he definitely, definitely turned Javante Tank Davis into gold. So Devontae Tank Davis selling out Baltimore, selling out Staples Center in L.A., selling out in Atlanta, selling out in Barclays Center. That's largely in due part to Floyd Mayweather. So do uh, um, do they have issues? And is Floyd Mayweather right or wrong? Javante Tank Davis feels like he's wrong. But do he deserve the public uh, uh, um, discrediting he, he's receiving? No. That's something that Javante Tank Davis should just say. You know something? It's a part of growing. You know something? You helped me get to where I'm at? Yes. Al Heyman had a lot to do with it. Lennon Ellaby had a lot to do with it. Al Heyman and Lennon Ellaby ain't Floyd Mayweather. They don't carry the stardom Floyd Mayweather had. They don't carry the attention that Floyd Mayweather carries. And when Floyd Mayweather speaks and, and, and co-signed the fighter and puts him on his Danny Garcia, that super stardom that Danny Garcia got, largely in due part to Floyd Mayweather. Canelo Alvarez, largely in due part to Floyd Mayweather. Javante Tank Davis, largely in due part to Floyd Mayweather. Again, I don't agree with Floyd Mayweather's stands all the time. I don't agree with uh, what he, uh, his statements and his actions. But what I do know is that he saved you. He helped save Javante Tank Davis. And I'm not saying that you have to agree with him publicly. But what I'm saying is you don't have to publicly discredit him and clown him is what I'm saying. You could you could do it peacefully. That's a part of growing. That's all I got for y'all. Make sure you hit the like button. Drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy Blue, Blue Blood Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Hit the bell icon to get all the new notifications. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV, all one word. Y'all already know what it is. Shout out to the entire L. D B C shouts out to Black Media Row. Make sure you like and share these videos. That's all I got for y'all. Peace.